All right, we're going to be doing a tutorial for CSGO on finding B Dormant. This video is brought to you by Cheat the Game, Chris Fate. A lot of awesome YouTube videos on Cheat Engine, so please check him out. Now to get started, let's open up uh, CSGO. Make sure you're using the insecure flag so that VAC isn't running. And we're going to start a match in Practice with Bots in DDoS2. Now, what is B dormant? Uh, well, it's a Boolean variable, meaning it can be true or false. Uh, and when dormant is true, it means the entity is far away from you and your entity and their entity can't really interact. So the server doesn't replicate to the client the updated information, including their uh, 3D coordinates, because it's not necessary. So for number one, it's for network efficiency. Number two, it makes uh, cheating more difficult. Um, so when it's true, you don't want to draw your ESP boxes because the data is going to be bad. You also don't want to uh, do your aimbot at them, etc. So how do we find it? I'll show you right now. Uh, first thing we're going to do is just use some uh, console commands. First one is SV cheats one, so we can run some commands. MP roundtime diffuse sixty. That's going to MP round time diffuse 60. Yeah. So that's going to give us a long round time so we can have plenty of time to hack. Auto team balance zero so that our bot we spawn doesn't get switched sides. Bot underscore kick is going to get rid of them all. Bot underscore stop one is going to make it so the bots don't move. And then we're going to do bot. Uh, first, we're going to end the round. And that's going to get us our 60 minute round time. And then we're going to do bot add underscore T. We'll add a bot to the terrorists. Sometimes you have to do it twice to get one. And then we're just going to find uh, his health and uh, the, ad the address of his object and even a quick pointer. So we know his health is 100. So we'll do our first scan for 100. Shoot him. Rescan for 91. It, pretty typical to get eight addresses and so from our last tutorial we know that the health offset is fc um so let's right click one of these and do find out what access is we don't see the offset fc so we know that's not the right uh health because it's not in the same object that we're looking for which is the entity object so we'll look at a couple of these cc that's close but that's not it go down to the bottom here you really just want to go in order, but I know where it is to make this tutorial fast. So we do have uh, FC. So we know that ECX is the object of the entity, the address of the entity object. So, and the offset's FC. So we can add this in here. We can delete all these. Add address manually. We're going to call this uh, an address. An address. And we're going to add do this plus FC and help, right? And then next thing we're going to want to do is find a pointer to him. So a pointer to the N object. So this is the address of him. And we're going to do a new scan, set it to hex, paste in his address. And so when we scan for this, we're going to list, we're going to get a list of addresses that point to his object. Disable fast scan. I've had a few issues with that on this. We also know it's not going to be an executable. Definitely going to be writable data. And pause the game too to make it fast. And we got a whole list here. Hopefully we have a green static address. And we don't. Uh, do new scan again. It's not there again. Weird. So sometimes you find it, sometimes you don't. So anyways, let's just do it the pointer scan method. Right click uh, his address and do, or his health and do a pointer scan. We know the last offset is FC. We know that uh, it's a one level pointer uh, off of the entity list. And I like to do eight thread scanning. I'm gonna wait for this to do, uh, it's gonna generate a pointer map. Then it's gonna do a pointer scan using that pointer map. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we got our uh, pointer right here. We can call this ent 
health pointer, right? And let's do another scan for this address because it's going to show up now, I think. If you scroll down, you do see you do get a static address, and it's it's the same one. So I don't know why. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, we got a pointer. So now we need to find B dormant. So to do that, let's open reclass.net. We're going to grab the address. Of All right, so I had a little glitch. I had to restart with a new bot here. So our entity pointer will still point to the correct. That's going to point to the correct health address still. So if we need to get the address of the object, we can see it. it's right here. 919-70570. We're going to copy that, right? Just update our health. And make sure that that points to the right thing in case the bot changes. And so B dormant, uh, I don't think it really works uh, for um, for your teammates, uh, at least in what I just looked at. So we're going to kick the bot and we're going to add them to the other team. All right, we're going to add them again because they don't seem to go for some reason. Okay, so there he is. You can see the health is still 100. So this is this is still pointing to, to the correct address uh, for the entity. So we're going to copy that. Let's open uh, reclass.net. We'll attach to CSGO. And we're going to call the class ent. And anytime you're in reclass, the address you want to put in there is the is the address of the object itself. Um, and let's right click and add a thousand bytes. Fan this out. And so we know the enemy right now is far away. So B dormant is a is a Boolean. So it is gonna be set to one right now. Uh B dormant will be a one. So if we look in here, do we see any ones? Not really. Um I see no ones. Uh, basically the first value is a float, then they give you an integer, and then the third number is basically the value in hex, and it's especially obvious, like, if it's a pointer, that it will show up like that, if it's a pointer. Now, I do see right here where there's a 1, so that could very likely be it. So, let's go run over to our enemy. We're going to stare at that 1, and we're going to see if we get closer to the enemy, does it turn into a 0. So it just did. So if I back up, it's a 1. If I move forward, it's 0. So dormant is false. Dormant is true. Close to the enemy, far away from the enemy. Uh, so it's not 4 byte aligned because uh, it's probably just a byte, I'm assuming. So the the byte before it is just a byte. So let's, uh, let's right-click change type, and let's just do uh, int 8, and then we'll right-click this one, change type, and make it a bool. So you can check if the bool is true or false. You can also check if it's 0 or 1. Uh, they're dormant when it's 1, also known as true. So, so the offset is E9. Let's call it B dormant. All right. And then let's add that to our cheat table. So uh, let's copy this pointer, right? Copy it. Add a new address. Make it a pointer. Paste it in. And add E9 as the offset. And we'll call this B dormant bot1. And then, so let's just see if that worked. Yep, one, zero. So that's it. Really easy way to find the B dormant offset. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please look forward to more videos uh, from Guide Attacking. I got a few more CSGO videos that I'm going to be doing. Make sure you subscribe. And if you like us, guideattacking.com slash donate. Thanks so much. Peace.